look at like what's popular or what a lot of people request in the comments. I listen to my students. I talk to my friends and they'll suggest things. And uh, a lot of times I'll do things that I just think that people would be into or interested in. A lot of the times I'm wrong. Roberta is real. She's a real machine that we made look like she's in my videos and stuff like that. But she's a real actual thing that we put a face on. Um, and she's actually in my classroom at school. And kids get a kick out of it when they come to the class. And there's Roberta. He is real. He's a real guy. And uh, he's nice. And every time I see him, he always goes, Hey, guy. He does really sound like that. But uh, yeah, he's real. Yes. Growing up, I loved new cereals and sodas and like new flavors of chips. And my best friend and I, we often talk about a couple things that we loved when we were kids. One of them being Crystal Pepsi. And I used to joke about how I wish it would come back. And in, in a couple of years ago, it came back. But hopefully it will come back again because I actually do really love it. They are. Uh, Andy is, was based off Matthew McConaughey to start, but since he's kind of changed a little bit. Now when I kind of write him, I imagine there's this show called Home Improvement that I love, and there's this guy Tim the Toolman Taylor, and I kind of imagine him when I write him. Steve is based off of uh, like Christopher Lloyd for Back to the Future, a little bit of him, a little bit of Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons. Roberta, Roberta is just, a, a, I just wanted a robot in my video, so I thought it would be cool. And Justin is my friend Dennis's head with no arms, just shoes. And for his voice, we made it a guy that we knew. I am. I teach fourth grade science and social studies in Memorial School in Union Beach, New Jersey. I've been a teacher for 11 years. Some topics like I'm really into, nobody watches or wants to learn about. Like I made like biography videos on Einstein and like Alexander Hamilton and not a lot of people really really watch them, but those are the topics that I like learning about. So I'd love to do more videos on historical figures, but I also wish I could do videos on things that I'm interested in, like random questions. Like uh, what would happen if we had no mood or um, are there aliens out there? I wish I could do question videos, but I'm not sure that a lot of you would like them, so maybe one day. Well, I, when I started teaching, I was using YouTube videos all the time, and I was like, I can do this. So I made a really bad video. It's the worst. It's on classifying animals. You can still find it on YouTube. And uh, my friend Dennis, who I work with and helps me with the videos, he saw that I was making these. So he sent me to a workshop where I could learn to make more videos. And now I make them for my class and for kids all over the world. I do's. I does. <laughs> uh, my favorite is probably Legend of Zelda, all Legend of Zelda games. But Ocarina of Time is chef's kiss. Is that what they say? Is that what the kids say? Uh, Steve is green, and we film in front of a green screen. And on top of that, well, first of all, if we used Steve, he'd be invisible in front of a green screen. We didn't have a green, blue screen for a long time, which is what we needed to film with Steve. So um, on top of that, I'm the guy who controls Steve, and I was can't be in both places sometimes, so we kind of leave him out. But now we have a blue screen, so now he's gonna be in more videos. That's a tough one. <laughs> I do like 99% of the voices. If you hear like Justin or Roberta or Steve or the planets or Iguana Greg, it's me. 
The only voices that aren't me are um, any girl character is my wife, like Rapsbury Lime or Mars is my wife, and Andy is done by my good friend Dennis. What's my favorite holiday? Uh, Halloween. I'm a spooky boy. I love just spooky stuff. Well, growing up, I loved the likes of Bill Nye and Reading Rainbow and Beekman's World, but the real biggest influence is probably uh, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, The Simpsons, um, Home Improvement, the show I was talking about earlier, and Married with Children. I loved 90s sitcoms. Probably Seinfeld, too, and Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's it. I'm not going to name anyone. I did twice. One time I was in Pennsylvania and I was visiting some friends and uh, I was getting breakfast and a lady was staring at me and she came up to the table and she was staring at me. And I'm like, why is this lady just looking at me? And she walked away and I heard her kids go, that's Mr. DeMayo. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that anybody would even think to recognize me. The other time I was in Atlantic Highlands it's not far from where I live. And I walked by a table and a little kid was eating and he like stopped. He was like, Mr. Nail? And I just winked at him and I kept moving. My favorite video is probably Alexander Hamilton. I think it's like perfect. I love how we're waiting in line and I'm telling about him. Then we're in the theater and I'm telling about him. I like how it ends with Justin singing the song. And we're actually making a cartoon about him singing that song. It's gonna come out in October. I was super shy. I kept to myself. I loved to uh, watch movies. I was obsessed with movies and going to the movies. I loved playing video games, but I was also really athletic. I loved playing baseball and uh, I was just quiet. I kept to myself, very creative. Mostly Final Cut. Pro, but Aaron, the guy behind the camera, uses Adobe Premiere. 99% uh, of them like me a lot. There's occasional students like, ugh, these jokes are the worst, but most of them, I would say, are fans, or like, or think I'm funny in some way. Like, it takes two days to write the script and probably a day or two to film. And then it takes me like two and a half to three weeks to, to edit everything together. No, <laughs> but I'll tell, if, if I get to a million subscribers, I will do a complete biography on myself and it will be disappointing. <laughs> Special thank you to Offshore Coffee on Brighton Ave in Long Branch. It's an awesome coffee shop run by my friend Ross. Should I say my friend? Are we friends now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome place. Really cool. Let us film here. So I hope you check it out. You can sit in the couch I'm sitting on if you want. I don't know. <laughs> Good? Yeah, I think 